Hey guys, Jonas here with Science Filmmaking Tips and today I'm getting to play with this baby. This is the Nemo drone, an underwater drone that you can use if you have a bathtub or a large bucket of water. Let me explain this more in a little bit. And my other clickbait is Rob in pink underwear with flamingos coming up. But first, let's just back up a little. Okay, so I actually chicken out and decided it was better to figure this out in a pool before taking it to the beach. But hopefully by the end of this video, you don't have to arrange a close down of the whole local gym pool so that you can test your new fun production toy out. So let's talk about what we have here. This is a pretty awesome piece of equipment. I was close to calling it a toy, but even though you feel like a kid driving it, don't be fooled. The specs and opportunities here are pretty sweet. The drone itself has four powerful thrusters, two vertical and two horizontal, that propel the Nemo up to 2 meters per second, about 3.9 knots, both forwards and backwards. The camera, which is mounted in the front, shoots 4K 30 frames per second and slow-mo up to 120 frames per second in full HD. The unit also has two lights in the front that apparently gives off a total of 1000 lumens. Oh, come on, I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> The Nemo is controlled using an app that works on both iPhones and Android systems. And because it sets up a Wi-Fi connection between the line reel, which is basically a Wi-Fi base station, I can move around with the phone without cables and stuff, as long as I'm within Wi-Fi reach. Oh yeah, and to turn off the thrusters, I figured out that you have to hit the Nemo icon up here in the compass in the top left corner. All right, now that we have all the specs cleared up, let's head back to Boston. Rob and I are actually headed to Cape Cod, which is just outside of Boston, to do some preliminary shooting for a project together with the New England Aquarium and their work to protect threatened and injured sea turtles. So testing it out in the pool is obviously a little bit cheating, I gotta say, because we want to take this out for a real test spin. So we're gonna get a turtle view of what it looks like going into the water here from the beach. I did promise you Rob in pink flamingo underwear, didn't I? Reasons for doing this is that for the Nemo to dive, it needs some help to get the air pockets inside of the Nemo drone filled up with water. In the waves, this is a bit difficult, so we had to take turns going out to push it down. All right, so it's time for me to explain what I started out with. I said you can only use it if you have a bathtub or a large bucket of water. And that is true in the way that you have to sink this in water in order to offload all of the footage that you have shot or else the battery will overheat and you won't be able to get the footage that you just shot. The storage that records the data is enclosed somewhere in the drone and can't be pulled out to dump the footage. The good thing here is that we can't accidentally eject the card and drop it in the water. But we do have to modify the workflow slightly to offload the clips using the Wi-Fi signal to a phone or a computer. This is such a fun piece of equipment and I can find so many ways that this is going to help us in our filmmaking. Uh, you'd think that, you know, as a scuba diver, we'd just be able to jump in and shoot stuff in the water. But the thing is, even as a scuba diver, I'd see so many uses for this underwater drone. First of all, if you set up scuba gear, it actually takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, and then you probably get between 45 minutes to an hour of dive time. With this thing, three hours of battery life on one charge. You can just throw it in. You can scout locations before you actually jump in. With that said, uh, the camera on this thing in itself will shoot good enough quality video that we can use so you don't even have to jump in the water. And there's also many times when you can get in the water, for example, shooting stuff like under ice, that kind of stuff. This thing is okay in cold water. It also uh, has a uh, depth limit of a 100 meters. Uh, which is way beyond what I would do uh, with scuba gear. So that's also another really big benefit with using one of these drones. One of the coolest things I think with this thing is now I can introduce a whole lot more people to the underwater world. I can basically send this in and have big presentations on the shoreline while introducing students, uh, the public, my own kids to the underwater world, which is going to be really, really fun. I'd see that as a huge, huge benefit as an educator to be able to use one of these uh, tools. This is something that I've really wanted to play with for a long time. I haven't had a whole lot of experience with underwater drones, but Rob was shooting a lot with these, uh, this type of technology during his years with Secrets of the Underground. So I probably used 
five or six different drones from the work that we did with Secrets of the Underground. And I mean, that whole show was about discovering things that were underwater or in caves or in places that were underground. And so we used a lot of remotely operated vehicles, both on land, but underwater too. And this is by far the easiest drone that I have ever used for two reasons. One, um, this cable is way easier than the other cables. The other cables we have are on these ginormous spools and they get tangled instantly. It goes forwards and backwards, which is handy. I definitely got one of the drones stuck in a cave and we lost it. And I think if we had this drone, we would not have lost that drone. That didn't make air though, because we were embarrassed that we, we had MIT's drone and got it lost and we didn't talk about it. I, I mean, the other thing that's fantastic is for the show, we had to rent for thousands of dollars these different drones from specialists whereas this drone for what is eighteen hundred dollars or something we could have bought this for the show and had it for all the exploring that we were doing i mean this is this is revolutionary and i think for the purposes that i have used drones for this is a must-have Hope you enjoyed that. Just as a disclaimer, we were not actually getting paid to do this video, uh, but we did get sent the drone so that we could test it out for free. And I think it's gonna add a really fun piece to our turtle story. Uh, thanks everyone for watching and especially a big thank you to all of our Patreon supporters for supporting the work that we do. All right, see you in another video.